And now, Everfree Radio presents Stay Brony, my friends, with Dusty Cat. everybody welcome welcome to monday night with the dusty cat i just want to for you know i just want to thank mando pony for that intro music because i don't thank him enough for it so and welcome to all you it's a bright sunny day here in san jose california that's why i got the shades on Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful beautiful day we have cat whitney from everfree northwest with us a wonderful artist in her own right and she's going to tell us a little bit about the con. She's going to tell us a little bit about her art. She's going to tell us a little bit about this, that, and the other thing. So I'm going to cue this up, as I do every week, to introduce you to our wonderful, wonderful guest. And we'll be back in about two. Intolerance and love. A student of Celestia, tall hold her up, not the moon above, coming down for a bunch on us. But I'm supposed to make some friends. No one ever taught me how to get out of life, and I'm not alright. But the moon will come tonight. But there's nothing wrong with me. This is how I'm supposed to be. But the princess just can't see She won't believe in me Met a man named Applejack Almost had a heart attack A family tree is bigger than the sea And I just wanted to get away And then I had a massive crash it's a rainbow dash, she made it rain So I couldn't complain She washed the mud out of my mane And there's nothing wrong with me This is how I'm supposed to be But the princess just can't see She won't believe in me With Cat Whitney. Hi, Cat. You there? Hello. Yes, I am. Yes, she is. She's here for all of you. And I'm gonna get rid of the shades because it's a little, a little dark in here. So, ah, wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Um, it's raining like the Dickens up there, isn't it? It is. It is absolutely pouring. It is Seattle, isn't it? Ah. It's true. Uh, it's true. Um. That's, thank you all for joining me. I think some of you saw this picture. I'm going to pop it up right now. See if I can pick the right one. Do, 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 do. Uh, get up there. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. That's her right there. <laughs> that's Sleepy Skies. And yes, that's, indeed. that's her OC right there. So we're going to be talking to her about all kinds of things. Um, especially a lot of her art. You saw a lot of that in that flyby. Um, so tell me, how long have you been doing the art thing? I've been doing art for, as cliche as it sounds, for pretty much forever. Um, I've always been drawing, but I actually took a, a break for several years, and uh, ponies brought me back to doing art. So I, I owe them a lot. Um, I'm actually going to be starting school, hopefully, for animation, and I, I owe it all to ponies. Ooh, which school are you going to? 
haven't quite decided yet. I'm, I'm working that out, but probably uh, probably the Art Institute. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings out there about that, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that's cool. Um, now, how do you, I, I know you do a lot of your art on computer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what programs are you using? I use Photoshop CS5. Um, I do a, a sketch by hand in blue mm -hmm. pencil. Um, I don't know why. It's just a fun way to do it. And then I scan it in and I go over everything uh, with the pen tool and mm -hmm. then about a bajillion layers of coloring. Um, as people who've seen a lot of my artwork know, my style is constantly evolving. Um, I have no classical training, so stuff <laughs> changes when I figure out how to do something new. That, that's the way it happens because I've been doing that for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it, it's it's really cool to see what you're getting in your in your art with all the shine and like the the one drawing you did for us with the 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 R2 OCs talking on the table and the mm -hmm. reflections on the table and when you sent that to me I went and you went is this good enough it's like uh, 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 yes <laughs> yes well, it you. is I'm, I'm really into making everything shiny right now so there's lots of shiny ponies it's a, it's running around it's a shiny around. thing it's a shiny pony thing going yes. on isn't it um so, uh, do you use a uh, a tablet? I don't. Um, I actually do everything by mouse, which is why Ooh. the the poor guys from Everfree know it takes me about uh, several hours to do anything because I do it all by mouse, uh, mm. by hand. Um, although the lovely Bajati, who I'm so lucky to call my friend, just gave me one of his old tablets, and I haven't really had a chance to play with it yet. Uh, yes. But that was that was yesterday, so I'm very excited to get to play around with that. Yes, I had a friend of mine give me an old tablet too, and it sits with the rest of my art supplies over there somewhere because I, I plugged it in <laughs> once and went, I can't make this to work at all. I went back to a number two pencil. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, and you got picked up by the Everfree Northwest Group. Yes, correct. Yeah. So what are, yes, what are you indeed. doing? What are you doing with them? So I am helping Mark Harian, who is our wonderful lead of media and PR. Um, so I'm kind of his second in command, also uh, occasional secretary and artist. So pretty much any of the artwork that's been going out for the convention over the past couple days, mm -hmm. um, that's all mine, all of the announcement posters. Um, I'm pretty much just on call. When people need me, I'm there. I can I could see that it was all your art coming out lately, which was awesome because it's all, <laughs> yes. uh, I, I like it when I like it when a convention actually has like a lead artist. So that you know mm -hmm. everything is consistent and it looks nice and everything is is cool, especially like with the the website is so the website you guys put up is so awesome. Oh, um, it's gorgeous! It, it's yeah. gorgeous. It looks nice, um, and the information is always up to date um, on what's going on. Um, and we have, let's see, you have Kathy Westluck, mm -hmm. correct? And yes. you have Lee Talker. Yes, very correct. excited. Very, very excited. I want I want to meet Lee so bad because we mm -hmm. need we need to we need to uh, compare mustaches. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, <laughs> um, let's see. What else is going on up there? Um, so, you're in marketing, right? Mm -hmm. And you're in with the whole who gets signed to come to the show, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. You know, know what I mean, know what I mean. So, you have, you have news. I do. I you do. You have news. Yes, you have news. And we also know that Michelle... Michelle Krieber was announced on Saturday on her own show. Absolutely. Yes. With us. Yes. So yeah, so Michelle Krieber's gonna be there too. And I would I wouldn't be surprised if all three Q Mark Crusaders are gonna be there, but we don't know that yet. Not quite yet, no. Not and we're yet. really excited that Michelle is not just going to be there, but she's yeah. actually going to be headlining our Pony Stock concert series. Ooh, yes, the um, Pony Stock. In a live show, yes. So she's going to be singing with uh, Acoustic Brony and Mando Pony. So wow. that is going to be absolutely fantastic. That's worth the Very price of admission exciting. right there. Absolutely. That's worth the price of admission, right there. That's gonna be awesome. It's gonna you're gonna you know it's gonna be hard to keep me off the stage. <laughs> you know, I think when they yeah, start playing, it's, it's like I'll be in the background with a tambourine going, da -da 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 -da. and you know, just in background. But <laughs> the uh, oh god, so we got uh, Lee and we got Kathy, and so, but you can't tell me, right? You can't, can't. tell me yet. No, you can't tell me. Maybe yet. later. Maybe later, because. You know, the ink's not even dry yet. They're probably, the, the ink's probably still wet on the contracts. Yes, right? very much so. So we have, to yeah. wait till, we have to wait till the ink dries a little later this evening mm -hmm. before we can give out that, that information. The huge, huge announcement. Of, very excited. Uh, yes, I'm very excited, too. Um, so what else, what else kind of, we know about Pony Stock, right? Mm -hmm. So who else is going to be playing at Pony Stock? Oh my gosh, we have a huge list. So as I mentioned, Acoustic Brony and Mando Pony. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got Brony Mike, Chain Algorithm, Cola Euphoria, um, Drupidity. Sorry, I'm going through my list here. Drippy yes. Grooves. Um, I bring the lulls. 
uh, Michael A, Omni Pony, Pinkie Pie Spar, who I'm personally very excited for, mm-hmm. Silva Hound, Tarby, mm-hmm. Voodoo Pony, Yelling at Cats, and I'm sure I'm missing a few, and the list is still growing, wow. so it's it's going to be that, absolutely that amazing. That stage is going to be packed all day. Yes, yeah, we have a, I, I can, a full, I can, I can a see this. Day. I can see it now. At the end, at the end of Pony Stock, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a a rock and roll Hall of Fame jam. I can see it. We're gonna have all these pony musicians on the stage just making awesome noise and singing to their heart's content. Everyone's gonna be singing Winter Wrap Up. I can see it. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Let's do it. Absolutely, I'm in. We'll make it I'm happen. In. And I'm in the back singing off key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, so excited to come up to Seattle. Um, I, I've got everything but my plane ticket. So I've got my, I got my hotel. I got my registration. And you all should have it too. We all should have a registration yes. to be ready to go. Because Absolutely. August is coming soon. And I don't think we're ready to announce solid numbers yet, but I can tell you registration is running short. So yes. get in on that. Registration is running short. We're on a, we're on a, a, a limit, right? Yes, How many? How, what's the limit? Our limit is right around 600 people. Um, just due to the uh, due to the size of the venue, uh-huh. um, and yeah, if if you want in, you better you get on in, that, guys. If you want in, if you want to see all of these awesome music people in Pony Stock, you have to get registered, and you have to get registered today or mm-hmm. tomorrow. Get your I, I, hotel. I I as big as I am cannot get a hotel room for Sunday night. Okay. Yes. Sold out. The, the, the hotel itself is nearly full. We only have about ten rooms left. Ten for our block of the hotel. Ten. Yes. Ten rooms. You're hearing that? Ten. Ro- somebody's got, somebody's got their, dinging going on. So, somebody's Skype is dinging. It's not mine. I don't know. Mine doesn't seem like it's going. Okay. I hope it's not. Screwy. I know it's you. <laughs> anyway. What? Your ding is going <laughs> off, dingy. Err, I'll fix it one sec. <laughs> I told you before the show. I, I did put it in busy. People still don't talk. <laughs> and I said this wasn't going to happen, and it does. What the hey? <laughs> this is terrible. It's because you're screwball. Yeah, it's because me. you're screwball. <laughs> That's why. How do I? Okay, how do, I'll figure it out. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Just like Final says, like, I don't give a care. Come on, yeah, Final. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll get on that one okay. sec. Okay. So, hey, um, what kind of... Okay, I, I, you know, when I go to a convention, when I go to a brand new convention with a mm-hmm. brand new place, I want to know where the food is. What kind of food do we have around that hotel? Right, so we're actually down right by the airport. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, it's a little bit of slim pickings. We're going to have a full a full rundown for you in the convention book, though, and we are going to have a lovely full-color convention book. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the most popular place nearby is going to be Denny's. Denny's is, is Denny's always right good for a convention, people. Take it from a Absolutely. convention pro. You know, you can go to Denny's at 2 in the morning after that epic party in the jacuzzi with all your friends. And you get out and you go, I'm hungry. I'm a little peckish. I need some food. Where are we going to go? Hey, Denny's is open. Awesome. Absolutely. And, awesome and the hotel itself obviously has a full restaurant, too. Yes. So. yes, full restaurant at the hotel. And we have full amenities, right? We have a pool. We have a jacuzzi. We have all of that stuff, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's going to be a business center that you can use. Uh, free Wi-Fi, obviously. Is free Wi-Fi? That means, I know. That means you can get all of your updates from Everfree Radio. Right there at the con. You know? Super convenient. Super convenient. I mean, my show might be a rerun because I'm going to be traveling. But you're going to get everything from the weekend. Like Saturday Night Songs with Michelle Kreber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in fact, you're going to get a live Saturday Night Songs with Michelle Kreber if, you're, if you go. Right? Because she's going to be playing on Saturday night. Oh, It's yes. going to be live. So you can be in the audience listening to Michelle Kruber. Um, So you guys need to go. I'm telling you. Um, the Okay, so you guys also have a Twitter account, correct? Oh, yes, we do. That's Everfree Northwest at, at Everfree NW is yes. the Twitter. And that has all the updates. And all of you can see that up on the screen right there. You all need to start following that. Because the more followers they get, the more announcements they give. So tell all your friends, even if they don't want to like follow it, just f- just follow it so we can get our information. It's true. It's true. We do it, like to true. tease you with that. It's true. So you need to do that. Um, so don't. So and let's see what else can we talk about. Um, seeing as uh, how far away from the Con Hotel is, say, you know, 
downtown where all the you know the throwing fish and the coffee and the you know the the, the bar with a hundred beers on tap how far away is that yeah it's actually um it's not that bad if you have a car it's probably 15 20 minutes depending on traffic Ooh. or a 30 minute light rail ride you can actually hop right on the train uh, mm-hmm. right from outside and it'll take you right there i believe it's only about two dollars for that wow. so it's really convenient and that'll take you right into the city proper right so. downtown where they can mm-hmm. you can take all the pictures of seattle you want with throwing the fish i've been there i was there in like 92 93 and seattle is a wonderful town to walk in i mean there's lots of stuff to see um wonder there's a wonderful bar there which has like a hundred beers from around the world on tap and you go out on the deck behind it, and all you see is the bay. And it's like, it's, it, I spent like two hours there. <laughs> Sad, but it was an awesome, awesome place to go. Um, also, you can take the ferry, right? The ferry's yes. kind of cheap to go over to the islands uh, mm-hmm. to sightsee if you want. So if you want to spend a couple extra days um, in the Seattle area, wonderful place to take a vacation. Um, so we're 20, almost 20 minutes in. Um, is there anything else that Everfree Northwest wants to talk about? Oh gosh, you know, we're just, we're so excited about the special guests that we've been able to sign recently. Um, the other thing that I personally have, am really invested in and would really like to push is the fact that we are going to have a charity auction there. Ooh, charity um, auction. Yes, we're partnered with uh, with the Seattle Children's Hospital. Yes. Um, so that's that's going to be absolutely wonderful. We've gotten some great donations in already. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also doing a, a toy drive. Um, you don't have to give away your ponies, so don't worry, but other ponies as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of the some of our talent um, are partnering with the Traveling Pony Museum, which is of course going to be there. Yes. And they're actually going to go to Seattle Children's Hospital for a day to mm-hmm. bring the convention to the kids that aren't able to make it out. That's going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm super excited about that. That's one of the main reasons why I personally wanted to get uh, invested with I, the with the convention. I had White Dove Creations on last week, and oh yes, I, yes, I almost have them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, coming. I they, I they, love White Dove. So be, I would love that. They could be urged with a little bit of a wink wink nudge nudge from everfree northwest mm, yes. maybe well, we'll see what we can do because i am a see, huge fan see what uh, everfree northwest can do to get them there because i would mm-hmm. love to see them if you guys can get them there it'll be a huge draw so oh uh, yes yes i would love to see them um so we got the charity and mm-hmm. uh i love i love doing stuff for children children's hospitals i mean the kids yeah. always love you coming not coming by um anything you do um, to entertain them or, or to, to give them some of your time. Um, all you people that are out there watching the show or listening to the show, if you have an afternoon where you're bored, you're not doing anything, take your ponies and take your crayons and your coloring books and, and go spend some time with, you know, kids that are, you know, don't have as much as you, that, that don't have, that are a little sick, that have, that could really use a friend, okay? Love and tolerate. Okay? Yes. This, this is one of the things that we, we as a fandom want to be known for our, our compassion and our love and our tolerance so if you have the time go spend it with somebody that could really use it that could really use your help spread the message spread the message spread the love spread the love we're very uh, lucky the uh, the hotel um is also going to be participating in that toy drive as well so they're, they're helping out with that absolutely so. absolutely hey i got an idea mm-hmm. what say that people that come to the con Bring a unwrapped gift, an unwrapped toy, for the hospital, and just to just because, if you have somewhere in your luggage a small little place in your luggage for a blind bag toy, for go down to your your local Toys R Us and pick up a, a two dollar blind bag toy, and bring it with you, so that you can give it to the museum, so they can give it out to the kids at the hospital. If six hundred people show up with six hundred blind bag toys guess what we got one for everybody we might have two for everybody so i want i want to see that happen let's do it i want to see that happen yes. just go down and buy a blind bag toy that that you know what that's twofold because if the united states run out of blind blind bag toys they got to bring they got to bring wave three over <laughs> oh i know I'm, I'm tired i want more i want i want wave three i'm tired of wave two i need the entire wave four box yes personally because you know me and shiny things and glittery yes, things you and, and shiny and glittery and metallic oh, yeah. things Yes. Is that one in, in, in Germany now? I think the no, only I'm place that's sure. been in Germany. I just saw mm. Europe. Mm. So. Yep. Europe always gets the good stuff first. I don't know why. It's true. Maybe it's the metallic paint or something. You know, they're afraid American kids are going to chew on it. 
<laughs> something, you know. Chew on the nom, 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 nom. Chew on the metallic paint. Anyway. Um so uh you know what? I need to I need to What commercial are we gonna run this week? Uh we're gonna run that one. So we're about to go into commercial. And when we come back, we're gonna have Screwball join us and take your questions for Kat about her art, about what she's doing for the con, and about the con itself. So, Mm -hmm. we're going to be back right after this commercial message. Since the beginning of time, the elite of Equestria have longed for pony fashions that truly express the essence of their very souls. Patiently waiting decades, no, centuries, for the perfect Pony Gap. Today, at long last, Equestria, your wait is over. Let's hear it for the breathtaking designs of Pony the Zone. Ready! Certainement, Spike. All your ponies. Be sure to visit the shop in Ponyville. For the rest of us, be sure to pick up the t-shirts, the bags, or even the posters from willowfine.com. That's right, willowfine.com for all your pony needs. And remember, Carousel Boutique, where every fashion says chic, unique, and magnificent. Mwah. That's right. All you ponies should go down to see Rarity for that new dress for the summer. Because the summer dresses are in. The summer is here. You need something light and breezy for those wonderfully warm, sunny days in Equestria. But all you humans, you need to go to welovefine.com to pick up all the brand new pony merch that comes out almost daily from welovefine.com. And use our code EFR10 to get 10% off your entire order. And we're back with Cat Whitney and Everfree Northwest and all the information you need to get there and have fun. So, uh, Screwy! Yep. You there? Yep, right here. Cool. Uh, <sighs> huh. So, what I need from you is some questions. Um, so this one's from, uh, wait, oh yeah, <laughs> Sketchy wanted me to ask this for quite some time now, and he asked, for you Dusty, if you got yourself a Kobar Berg yet? No, I can't find it on the west coast. So, oh shoot. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they import it to New York, so when I go to BronyCon, I'll have to have one there, but I can't get anything on the east coast. I actually went, I went to my local BevMo and said, can you get this? They said no. So I, I can't have it yet. So, as when I go to New York, though, I'll, I'll track one down. <sighs> this one's from uh, Chaotic Harmony. Question for both. If you had a single chance to go to Equestria, would you go and reason? Go cat. Yes, and ponies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is, I think, probably there the best you go. for that. Um, but no, absolutely. The, no no thought required. I, I would absolutely take that, take that trip. Oh, yeah. I'd be going, I would be going in a heartbeat. And I would probably be going, and I, I would, I would coincide that with like a Wonderbolt show. Yes. It'd be the weekend of a Wonderbolt show, and I would, be, I would go. Absolutely. Um, this one's from Steel Masquerade. Question: How long does it take you to finish your uh, finish the average art? <laughs> um, for me, as I mentioned uh, earlier, I do everything with a mouse. Um, so I sketch by hand and then scan and then do mouse work. Um, so the average picture, like some of the announcement pictures that have gone up, are anywhere from about 6 to 12 hours each. So I have a, I have a slow technique, I'm afraid. <sighs> yeah. For me, it takes days. Because oh. I, I do all mine in pencil. So it's all, you know, col- first it's regular number two, and then it's ink, and then it's color. And mm-hmm. if I'm putting it in the computer, it takes longer. So, mostly by hand. In, fa- can... in fact, I've got art I need to do by in two days because the Tumblr prom is in two days, and I'm I'm 
taking I'm taking a, a friend of mine, and I have to actually draw the art because she's on vacation. <laughs> so I've, after this, I have to go to my art table. I have to. Yes. <laughs> um, this one's from uh, Sunshine. Question: Catch, uh, uh, who is your favorite pony, and why? My favorite pony of the main six is going to be Twilight Sparkle. Um, I feel I really relate to her. I was always a really nerdy, bookish girl growing up. Oh, pardon me. Um, of the not main six, it's got to be Lyra. I love how weird she is. I actually have a Lyra necklace that I wear pretty much every day. <laughs> oh, and if I can say OC, awesome. Wildfire, of course. Because Wildfire. Wildfire is best pony. Wildfire so. is best pony. Best it's background true. pony. Especially when she has a hoofa cure. Yes. <laughs> Um, uh, one of my very good friends, Skipsy, he, uh, he just wants to note that Kat, he thinks you're completely awesome. <laughs> well, look, I look, love yes. Skipsy, so that's good. Look at this awesome piece of art Aww. she did of me. I mean, look at this. It's, it's, I'm drinking cider and she's drinking a, 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 a juice drink. Something. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> she drew me perfectly. It's like, oh, I love it. Yay. <laughs> I wish I could be that good. <laughs> um, uh, this one's from Bolt. And uh, Dusty, here comes mm. that question. Uh, for Kat, um, Lunar Republic or the Celestial Empire? Here we go. I'm caught in the weird twilight between the two, honestly. <gasps> I know. Well, I that know. means you're an independent voter. I know. What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not part of this two-party system. Um, no, but if I if I had to choose, I would probably say uh, say Lunar Republic, um, just because I I'm a night yes. owl. I'm up till about 4 a.m. every day. So. Absolutely, that makes 100% for this show. Yes. Everyone everyone who's come on the show is Lunar Republic. We're gonna we're gonna take this thing in a landslide. Yes. <laughs> I say that as I'm wrapped up in my uh, my Celestia blanket, though. So. <laughs> well, they didn't make a Luna blanket. I know. What's up with that? What's up with that? <sighs> I'm I'm completely for the Lunar Republic. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, from Chaotic Harmony. Question for Cat. What is your favorite part of the fandom? The music, the art, the fanfics, and why? I'm going to go the easy route and say everything. Um, I I love the artwork. Obviously, that's what really drew me into this fandom. Um, I grew up obviously as a girl in the '80s, so I was I've been a fan of My Little Pony from pre G4. Um, but what really drew me back was a lot of the talented fan artists out there. Um, but I have this huge appreciation for the musicians. Um, I am the most musically uninclined person you will ever meet. Um, I can't whistle. <laughs> I can't snap. I can't even play rock band i mean i don't get me near music at all um so i have this huge appreciation for what they do and uh i love it so much um i don't get to read a lot of fan fiction mostly because i'm so busy um but i think it's great i i just i love everything about this fandom really i think it's just such a, a talented group of people and i'm really honored to be a part of it that is awesome and I just put up your Deviant Art site address. Oh, thank you. Yes, so yes. You, you need to go, you know, see her art. <laughs> There's much more than what I showed, so go check it out. All the ponies oh. must draw. All the ponies must draw. All the ponies. <laughs> um, this one's from Overdrive. Uh, question is: Is Everfree Northwest going to have a pony dance contest? Not a dance contest insofar as I am aware. We are going to have several dances, um, along with having the Pony Stock Live concert series. Um, in the secondary ballroom, we're also going to be having um, a series of kind of like techno dances for people who are more into that and DJs and that sort of thing. So there will be plenty of dancing, but I'm not sure about an actual dance contest, but we will definitely pose that to the board. It doesn't have to be official. It's true. <laughs> this one's from uh, Polkling. Uh, question. Uh, I almost lost it for a sec. Um, uh, question from Polkling. How ended you organizing that convention? Sorry, what was that one more time? Uh, how ended you organizing that convention? That is the question. Make, uh, that that uh, should be huh? reworded. <laughs> huh? Reword that one because that don't make sense. 
Oh, oh wait, oh, now, if I read below, um, quite, the real question is, how did she get involved in the organization? Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. There we yeah. go. So, uh, starting family. about a year ago, I started actually going to, uh, Brony meetups, um, and started meeting some of the people who were involved with the convention, um, and just put my name in there as somebody who wanted to get involved, um, and basically, yeah, I just kind of got absorbed into it. Um, never really went through the uh, the official process. Shh, don't tell our head of staff that. Um, but yeah, it's it's been really really fun, and I'm very lucky to be friends with the board members. And we're we're definitely still looking for volunteers. So if you're in the Seattle area or outside, and you can make it to our meetings, definitely show up. See if it's something that you're interested in. Um, we post those on the Seattle Brony Meetup page. You can also usually find out information through the Ever Free Northwest forums, because we are still looking for people. So come and join me. We bring food. I, I can I can attest to people working on a con is some of the most fun you'll have. Yes, it's work, but you it get, is. You get to meet all of the guests. You get to you know be nice to them. You get to talk to them. You get to make sure that everybody else at the con has a really great time. And sometimes that is that is joy in and of itself. Um, I've been working for one convention down here in San Jose as its art auctioneer for about five years now, and it's wonderful fun to uh, to help these artists get the, as much money as they can for their art. So, uh, uh, lots of fun. This question actually kind of relates to that a question for Kat. Are the people you're working with on the con cool people? They are awesome people. Um, and I'm not, believe me, I'm not just saying that. I, I really feel very, very blessed to be working with a lot of these guys. Um, some of them have become some of my closest friends. I'm in touch with all of them on at least a, a bi, bi daily, excuse me, basis. Um, it's it's been really really great. I've met met so many friends through this convention, and yeah, they're all great guys and all very talented in their own right. Um, if you have a chance, check out uh, Bajati and Markarian's music. They are both yes. extremely talented. So Bajati is like a guitar slinger. He's yes. awesome. He's amazing. I mean, he, he flew all the way to England just to play guitar with Acoustic Brony. Yes. That's like, dude. That that's some that's some you know. Wow. <laughs> them, them some chops right there. That's some chops right there. Yeah, that's a lot of traveling. Um, uh, question is from uh, uh, Gavin Gap. Uh, question for both: What is your least favorite thing about going to a convention? Ooh. Um. Hmm. For me, it's drama. There's always gonna be drama. <laughs> Um, some, you know, I've been around conventions and fandoms for so long that it's, it's, you end up in the middle of it at least once a convention, you know, you'll see it on the side and you'll get drawn into it or whatever, but people are, should be, go to a convention to have fun. You shouldn't go there to, to, mm -hmm. to cause trouble. Yeah. You know, if something is going on, you know, let, let water off a duck's back and just go on and have fun. You know, just don't worry about, you know, what somebody said here or there. Just, you know, go out, go out, have your fun. Don't worry about the drama. You know, everyone's spending a lot of money. Everyone's ha trying to have a good time. So just have a good time. You know, decide that you're going to have a good time no matter what. And you'll be good. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, I think for me, my biggest problem with conventions uh, is that, especially this is going to be a 24 hour convention, ever free, oh, yeah. um, is taking care of myself. I tend to forget to uh, drink and get dehydrated, and sleeping just takes up way too much okay. time okay, when guys. I can be spending with friends. So take care of yourself. Con. Con experience. 621. Do you know what 621's means? Uh, do you, do yes, you I 6 do. 2 1? No, I don't. Six hours of sleep, two meals, one shower. Ah. Exactly. Okay, every day. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. if you can get those three things, you'll be fine. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's convention rules. Convention rule, 621. <laughs> I know I'm very bad at home, <laughs> but every pony else should. Yeah. So. Are you gonna have a crummy convention? you <laughs> <laughs> will be smelling bad and uh. <laughs> stumbling all around the place. <laughs> my phone went off, so I had to get it out of the. Right, that's what that vroom was. My phone going off. I don't know why, but there you go. Right, next. Ah, oh, this one's from Chaotic Harmony. Question for both: What is your favorite villain in the series so far? I'm going to have to say uh, Discord. Um, 
TNG was kind of a pivotal thing in my life for a long time, and it just rolled over from Q so well. And I think uh, I think John did an absolutely fantastic job, and I love the design. Um, but a very very close second is Chrysalis. I just from an aesthetic standpoint alone, I love her design. I can't mm-hmm. wait to start drawing her. So yeah, her her design is awesome. I I would have liked Discord if his design was a little bit different. The whole you know. 15 million pieces sort of struck me and still strikes me as a little weird. I love the way he acted the character. Yes. Um, but I'm I'm tossed because every every villain is pretty good but I'm still a Nightmare Moon fanatic. I'm still a Nightmare Moon fanboy. So I'm, I know it's a long time ago in a galaxy far far away for <laughs> Nightmare Moon but you know I still, she was still the first and still the best villain. So I, I, I would have to go with Nightmare Moon. Um, uh, this question is from Chaotic Harmony. Uh, question for both. What is your favorite song in, oh, what is your favorite, so- favorite song in the show so far? This Day Aria, hands down for me. I, I was blown away by that, that song. Um, I love everything about it. I love the, the subtle musical subtext in there with the, the naming of, of cadence in the actual, uh, in the actual song. It's, it's ridiculous. I love it. Um, I would have to say that you know, the next day Aria is an awesome song. Um, still, it's still win a wrap up for me. It's still win a wrap up, um, even though this day Aria is awesome. Um, win a wrap up is just you know, it clubbed you over the head when it first came out. It's like, duh, this is duh. Oh my, how much time did duh? And it's like on a little girl show. And it's like it's all so awesome. How much time was spent on this and the choir and the background and the snapping and the, the what? It's still every time I every time I, I listen to the song, it's like I, I hear something else in it. It's like I didn't hear that the first time. I didn't hear that a time ago. And it's like it's it's just awesome. <sighs> um, this one's from Chaotic Harmony again. He, <laughs> uh, he's he's the he's the man with the questions. <laughs> I'm a, a question for Cat. Favorite Cutie Mark Crusader and why? Oh, that's that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> oh wow, throwing me the hardballs here. I see. Um, <laughs> Knuckleball. I, yeah, I honestly don't know if I can choose between them. I love them all, and that's not me trying to find a way out of this. This I really do love them, and I do kind of. I I will admit I kind of uh, think of them as a single entity a lot of the time. Um, but what I will say about the, the Cutie Mark Crusaders is that Scootaloo needs her own episode. Let's let's get yeah, on that. Yeah, it's about time. You yeah, know, Sweetie Bells had more than one. Apple Bloom, yeah. Apple Bloom had her own Cutie Mark Pox episode. And it's like Scootaloo needs she does her own episode. Although I have to say, if we were going on uh, on variations of them, it would be Sweetie Bot. But <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I can fully blame Mark Carrion for getting me addicted to that. So yes. next. <laughs> Oh, this one's from uh, Gavin Gap. Question for Kat. How, um, how time-consuming is organizing conventions? It's it's a second job. Um, it obviously depends on where you are and how much time you can dedicate. I mean, if you can only show up, uh, you know, for a few hours on a Saturday, we completely understand that. Um, but especially being in the higher tier, um, it's very time consuming. Um, but it's it's something that we do with love, absolutely. Um you have and to. it's oh yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. Um but it, it definitely does kind of take over your life for a while. Uh I, I have no regrets about it. Uh as the, the guys know, I uh draw with a mouse and uh have carpal tunnel. And so the other day I was doing all of these announcement posters, which I'm very excited for you guys to see. You'll get to see another one at the end of the show. Um and uh I drew for about 13 hours straight one day and then about 10 the next and then eight and it started tapering down because I started having to wear my wrist brace but no regrets so excited love it very much but pretty much every waking hour when I'm not eating and sleeping I'm working on the con or thinking about the con and I love it I'm very excited Mm. yes it's gonna be awesome yes it's gonna be the best the best super excited (laughs) Um, this one's from Solar Dancer. Question for Dusty. Where did you get your hat? Target. Amazingly enough. <laughs> yep. Yep. They had a, a slew of these nice 
awesome hats. This one actually has a, you know, the basket weave pattern in it, so the, the wind comes through, you know, for my nice bald head. Mmm. So, oh yeah, love this hat. Goes with, goes with my shirt. So I got I got the whole Panama Jack thing going on right about now. Mm-hmm. Nice. Loving it. Um, this one's from Beetle QD Brony. Uh, question for both. Uh, once, uh, w uh, what are you looking forward to most of the cons you'll be attending? Mm. Mm. Me, I'm looking forward to meeting all the great people I've met in this fandom. Denotive and Alex S and uh, a lot of the other guys in the music scene. Um, I can't wait to meet uh, Sibsy. I can't wait to meet um, Lee Talker. I can't wait to meet um, a whole lot of people, really. Um, it's amazing the, the amount of people that I've met in this fandom that I just want to like, have a beer with, really. Yeah. So I, I really, really do. Yeah, I'm I'm the exact same way. Um, I'm really excited that uh, Otaku Squirrel, who does the the most amazing sculpted manes yes. and tails for yes, your ponies. I have one. Yes, he's going to be coming up. Um, mm -hmm. He's going to actually be sharing a booth with me, so that's going to be very, very fun. I'm very excited to meet him in person. Um, and of course, all the VAs that we're going to be announcing and stuff like that. And then, yeah, other members of the fandom. Um, Acoustic Brony, so excited uh, to meet Mando in person as well. Yep. Um, and uh, Sweatshirt's going to be coming, so that's going to be fun. Mm. So, people both directly involved with the show and in the fandom. It's just, it's, it's going to be an entire group of awesome. Yes. yes. It's going to be dripping with awesome sauce. Yes. Rainbow, <laughs> rainbow colored awesome sauce. That's going to be 20% cooler than any other awesome sauce in the world. See what I did there? <laughs> I did. Yes. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, one second, I'm just trying to find the question I just lost. Oh, and, oh, wait, 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 wait. I was just informed that one Sibsi is in the chat. Listening to us right now. Hi, Sibsi. I Hi, love Sibsi. you. We love you. And guess what? Yes. We all love you. Guess what? I need to say something to you right now. It's very important. Yes. That you listen to me. Very important. <clears throat> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my wildfire. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sissy. Yay! <laughs> Sissy's yes, birthday, birthday, birthday is next Thursday, people. Wish her one. Yes. Do it. Mm -mm -mm. Because she deserves, she deserves all the love. All the love and all the ponies. And, yes. all, and all the cake. And all the cake <laughs> yes. you can eat. Next question. <laughs> this one's from Beat Seeker for both. <clears throat> uh, do you know anything about Latin American bronies? What? Uh, that's just what a track posted for me. <laughs> uh, do you know anything about Latin American oh, Latin, bronies? Latin American bronies. Yes. Um, I had some Mexican bronies um, contact me once. That was like a couple months ago. But uh, nothing from the Latin American uh, contingent. Um, yeah, same here. I've gotten messages from all over, uh, but not not that I'm aware of. No, I I, I know they exist in my heart of hearts. They're yes. out there, but they're everywhere. Yes, we're taking over. Yep. <laughs> um, this one's from uh, Bolt. For Kat, what time will the doors officially be opened? I'm yeah, guessing lucky. towards the con. Because <laughs> he's going to be there at 12 hours early. Because if I know both, he's going to be there 12 hours before the doors open. <laughs> First one in line with a chair. Is, no, an no, not the chair with a tent. With a tent, tent. With a tent, an umbrella, <laughs> and a Twilight Sparkle coloring book. Yes. <laughs> Well, registration is going to open at eight, or excuse me, registration opens at eight a.m. and opening ceremonies are going to be at ten a.m. Now, uh, one thing I do want to ask: Are they going to have 
early registration pickup on Thursday? You know, I don't believe we are at this point, no. Um, let me see if I can get clarification on that. Uh, my clarification is maybe. Maybe, um, okay. So it is something we're, we're looking into, um, but we'll keep you posted on that as best we can. Because okay. um, personally, I'm going to be in Thursday night. So yes. I'm, gonna, I'm flying in Thursday night. So if I could pick my stuff up without having to be in line, I would be very happy. So that way I can make opening ceremonies without having to be like 74th in line when opening ceremonies is going on. Right. But yes, it is something we're looking into. We will keep you posted. Keep your eyes on the forums. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Bolt says, and Dusty, don't forget Miss Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I won't forget Miss Sunshine. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure she's on crutches by that time. <laughs> um, This one's from my friend Chaotic Harmony. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what is your favorite pet from the show? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Owlicious. Um, I kind of want to see a, a comeback for Owlicious. Um, I also really like Philomena because who doesn't love a who bird troll? Who doesn't love a bird troll? Who doesn't? It's true. Um, tiny. Our teen, was it uh, Spike's teeny or tiny? Did he call his 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 phoenix? Oh, his adorable phoenix. Adorable Ashley. little yes. phoenix. Yes. Tiny. I think is what he called him. I want to see. I want to see Tiny come back just as a yes. back, as a background character, just riding along on Spike's shoulder. You know, yes, like, I amend my answer and agree with you. Tiny's here. Yes. yes, I would love to see Tiny back. But but the for my favorite actual pet, I would probably have to say um, uh, probably Tank. Probably Tank. Oh, Pee Wee. That's right, Pee Wee. Thank you very much. Oh, Not yes. Teeny, it's Pee Wee. Thank you, A-Track. Yes, let's see Pee Wee back. Next. <laughs> I like this one from uh, Lehamel. Uh, hope I said that name right. Question for Dusty. Hypothetically, if you wake up with no mustache, what would you do? <laughs> Find whoever shaved my mustache off in the evening and killed them. <laughs> you think I? You think I kid? I'm scared of you now. No, I. I, I, I think it was a laugh of fear rather than yeah, a. No, uh, if somebody, <laughs> if, if I found, if I woke up one day and my mustache was gone, I would start growing another one. Because this stuff grows like a weed. I would have this mustache back in a month. <laughs> Be done. Not a problem. <laughs> I mean, I gotta shave this thing every other day because I keep growing the hair on the sides and it looks like nasty. So I, it's like I have to, <laughs> I have to shave the, I have to shave the dome every other day, just so I can make it look good because it grows so fast. So, but yeah, I'd have this back in a month. Not a problem. <sighs> wish mine could. Not a problem. Wish mine could grow that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, this one's from Solar Dancer. Uh, 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 which is your favorite uh, episode of each season, and why? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sonic Rainboom is going to be my favorite episode from season one. Um, as people who who are listening and who probably know me know, um, every time Rainbow Dash hits the Rainboom in that that episode. I start crying. This is not an exaggeration. Tears form in my eyes every single time I watch it, and I've watched it probably a hundred times. Um, it's it's the best. I don't. It's the music. It's the whole thing. So that's mm -hmm. probably that. And then uh, I'm gonna have to say, lesson zero for season two. Um, as you know, I'm a big Twilight fan, mm -hmm. and I loved that that it, it really had kind of a, a an old school animation feel where things just got a little bit weird, and I I loved it. Thought it was great. So yeah, those are my two. Mine still suited for success. Still, Rarity falling back on on the bed, whining, yes. whining that she doesn't know what to wallow in. Lovely, <laughs> one wonderful, wonderful episode. Um, second season, I keep flip flopping on a bunch of different episodes. Um, so you know, I, every everyone loves the season finale, so we'll just skip that. I mean, it's everyone loves it. It's, right. it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I have to think about it. Because like I guess I keep we keep, at dinner we watch an episode every night. You know we just keep watching them over and over and over again. We go downstairs to dinner, throw on the, the iTunes and watch an episode. So every time I watch a new ep watch an episode again, it's like oh I love that one. Oh I love that one. You know what I really love that one. So <laughs> uh, it just keeps changing. <laughs> They're all great though. They're all great. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. Oh, they're all amazing. Ah. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> 
Next. Oh, this one's from Beat Seeker. Question for both. What city in the show would you like to appear? Detroit. I I know there was yes. I want I want Detroit. But it's not gonna happen, because there's nothing in Detroit. <laughs> but a crumbling city. <laughs> Unless Scootaloo, oh. unless Scootaloo is living under a bridge in Detroit, we're not going there. So, yeah. um, Not so much of a city, but I'd love to see Zakora's homeland. Really, I'd, I'd love to see just kind of more of the, the world in general. Um, if I had to pick an actual city, of course I'm going to say Seattle, because, mm -hmm. come on, hipster ponies, right? Right. Las Pegasus. Yes. I would love to see. I would love to see them go to Las Pegasus to watch the Blue Mare group. So you're, or, you're of, the, of the opinion that Las Vegas is in Las Vegas and not Los Angeles because yes. there's this huge hullabaloo, and I'm with you on that one. I, it, Las Pegasus is Las Vegas, not Thank Los you. Angeles. It's Las Vegas, and I want them to go to Las, Las Pegasus to watch the Blue Mare Group, or <laughs> to to see you know one of those really great shows, uh, Zumanji or one of those. They 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 take a vacation with the train out to Las Pegasus and they, they have like really fun adventures losing bits or something. You know? Pony versions of Penn and Teller. Pony, yeah, pony versions of Penn and Teller would be awesome, yes. <laughs> Julie. And you yes. know what? They have their they have their their uh, white manticores. Yes. They have they have their, their shockingly white manticores, which are so you know, they have a they have a breeding ground for manticores <laughs> behind the MGM and they have, you know, striped white manticores in their in their shows. That would be awesome. <laughs> God, I just wrote a fanfic. God, <laughs> how did I do that? <laughs> Reddit, Creation. copyright, good. Uh, one more question, then we're going to go to commercial. One more, make it good. Um, let's see here. Uh, this, one's a, uh, this one's from Bolt. Uh, for both, have you seen the Massive Smile Project yet? Yes. 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 <laughs> so excited. So oh sad gosh. I was not in that. I completely biffed it and did not get involved because I was so busy doing other things and completely biffed it. And I, I, will, I will be sad about it until I die. I, I really, really wish I had gotten involved. So, uh, wonderful, wonderful song. Wonderful, wonderful uh, yes. charity. So, yeah, what can you do? I, I, I love what they're doing, and I hope that they, uh, they make lots of money for charity. So, with that, we're going to go to commercial. And when we come back, we're going to have more with Kat, and we're going to have more about Everfree Northwest right after this commercial message. It's harvest season here at Sweet Apple Acres and the You Pick Apple adventures have begun. You can make the most of this opportunity by getting a bushel full of the plumpest, juiciest apples this side of the Everfree Forest. Whether for a homemade apple pie, delicious apple fritters, or fresh off the tree, it all begins with a visit to Sweet Apple Acres Apple Orchard. Go visit with the Apple family a short trot southwest of Ponyville. Applejack. Well, how to do? Granny Smith. <laughs> Apple Bloom. I want it now! And Big Macintosh. Hey, yep. We'll treat you like one of the family. Fresh apple cider? Try our 10 varieties. Apple pies and dumplings? Mouth and water. Uh, yeah. Sweet red delicious apples? They got them. Tart Granny Smith apples? You'll find them there too. No ladders needed. Just rear up and pluck you some of the sweet apple goodness that graces the plates of our princesses Celestia and Luna. And remember, our apple stand can be found at the corner of Appleton Road, right near Quills and Sofas. Apple cider donuts, fresh apple butter, and apple juice. It's always a family adventure at Sweet Apple Acres. Would you look at them fancy duds you can get from our friends at WeLoveFine.com? Shoo! Hats, bags, and posters, too? They got everything you could ever want. Except apples, of course. So mosey on down to WeLoveFine.com and rustle you up some Sweet Apple Acres Sunday Best. Yee-haw! And we're back with Kat. And that was Sweet Apple Acres, where you can go down and get apple bread and apple butter and apple this and apple that and some apple tarts and some apple pies. All you ponies should go down to Sweet Apple Acres for all your apple needs and all you humans should go to We Love Fine to get all of your brand new Sweet Apple Acres t-shirts, which came out just last week. So use our code EFR10 to get 10% off your order at any time over there at We Love Fine. So we're back with Kat. And Hello. some more questions from the peanut gallery. Uh, back down <laughs> there. Uh, screwy. 
What you got? Yep. What you got? Oh, uh, I got a lot. <laughs> uh, this one's from uh, Solar Dancer. Question for both. How many pony toys do you have? All of them. Close. <laughs> no, um, let's see. I've got uh, Cheerilee, and I've got Twilight, and I've got Rainbow Dash, and I've got... I have all, all the McDonald's toys. I actually have two sets of all the McDonald's toys. Then I've got the, the really good molded hair Pinkie Pie, and I've got the, the pink Celestia. And I've got all kinds of stuff. You know, I keep... And I've got all the uh, all of the, the blind bags that I can get. You know, I haven't got found anybody in Europe who can get me blind bags yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, Same. Yep. Yes. So, need some need some hookups over there in Europe, people, to get me some blind bags. So, let's see. Um, Here's Rainbow Dash. Yeah. I have, I have quite a few. My answer is skewed, I will warn you right now, when I say close to 100. And that is skewed because I have a ton of pre-G4 ponies. Mentioned wow. girl in the 80s. So, um, for the G4s, um, I have quite a bit. I have quite a few brushables. I have a good collection. Um, I have quite a few Flitter Hearts. She's my favorite Ooh. of the uh, the ones that really haven't been in the show. Um and lots of blind bags. I just have a big assortment. I actually have an entire bookshelf that's ponies. I'll post a picture at some point. Whole bookshelf of ponies. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one's from Steel Masquerade. Uh, if you can meet only one of the main six, which one and why? Mm. What do you think, Kat? <laughs> You know, as much as I absolutely love Twilight and she's my favorite, I think I'd like to spend a day hanging out with Rainbow Dash. Yeah, especially here in Seattle. She could get these clouds out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's make that happen. Yep. I think as much as I like Rainbow Dash, as much as I like Rarity, I think I would spend a day on the farm. I would go and I would find out the secret essence of what makes Sweet Apple Acre cider so good and what makes their pies so delectable. I'd spend a day cooking with Applejack. That's what I'd do. I'd spend a day cooking with Applejack. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yep. Ooh. Uh, trying to go back up to the list. Oh, there's so many. So many questions. Oh. <laughs> uh, the question is um, from Steel Masquerade. Dusty, where did you get, where did you get that hat? <laughs> what hat? That, the one, that thing. <laughs> what? What hat? Um, oh, you mean this hat? chef hat. This, this chef hat, <laughs> yes. The chef hat. Well, you know what? This is a clue, people. This is a clue. So, that's a clue. Oh, that's all boy. I'm going to say is that's a clue. I'm trying to wrap my mind around it, and that's giving me a headache. Oh... <laughs> 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 uh, Uh, next. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I oh, have geez. to ask this one right now. Uh, this is from Roy G. Biv. I hope I said that right. Question for both. Is Sibsy best background pony or best background pony? <laughs> she is best everything she, pony. She is best background pony. She is the best pony who draws herself. She's the best. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, she's the best. Everything. She's yep. the best Subaru driver I know. So, <laughs> you know, you so. Subaru. Yep. Yep. That's the, <laughs> that's the that's Sibs. Everything. That's official, mm -hmm. by the way. Just so you guys know. Yep. Uh, da 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 da. I'm trying to scroll back up. Oh my. Ah, oh, come on, a track. <laughs> um. Uh, where was it? I'm lost. I'm absolutely lost on questions. Uh, no, no, no. Let's go. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, question from uh, Indiana. Will you guys be waiting in line uh, before Target slash Toys are us for the new Luna and Celestia toys? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I'm very lucky that here in Seattle, uh, there is a new Target opening right downtown, which is right by where I live. I am mm -hmm. so excited. I will be there every day. We have a super Target about a mile from where I work and I work oh. at, I start work at 10 a.m. so I could be down there at like 7 when they open and so. I uh sorry I don't mean to be rude but if we're gonna drop this announcement we got some pre-scripted stuff going up so we <gasps> gotta we gotta get to this oh we gotta get to that you let's we're gonna release fun. it right now let's do it right now 
Yeah, because it's Ooh, it's going live. We're going live right now, people. This is the big announcement. <gasps> Nerd. Cat. Nerd. Do it. All right. Do so it. I am Do it, so excited. Do it, Philly. So excited to announce. Uh, it's with tremendous pleasure that we announce that the one, the only, the <gasps> Twilight Licious Tara Strong is Tara going to be Strong! attending Everfree Northwest. Yeah. That's Tara right. Strong, people. <laughs> she's going to be joining us all three days, so you're going to have a chance to meet and greet with her. Uh, she's going to be there celebrating all the pony fun. Um, as you folks probably know, along with doing ponies, she's an incredibly talented voice actress who's done just about everything. Some of my favorites, Powerpuff Girls, Teen oh, Titans, uh, awesome. the game Psychonauts. She's she's amazing. So, you yeah, know, she's going to be that, there. Now that I know she did Raven, oh. now I can hear it. You know, I go back and watch it, and it's like, yeah, that's Tara Strong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never, it's like, uh, yeah, that's Tara Strong. So it's like, <laughs> yes, Tara Strong, the Twilight Nishness of Twilight Nishness, is going to be at Everfree Northwest. And maybe, <laughs> just maybe, we can actually convince her into performing at Pony Stock. Because she's got, she's got a rap flow like you couldn't believe. She's got the flow. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. I can see it now. Tara Strong will be attending Everfree Northwest. And that's, that you heard it here first. Yes. Five, five minutes before it went live on their site. So, to all you for coming and joining us this evening. Mm, yes. Mm, 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 mm. Tara Strong. Now I get to meet Tara. The one and, the one only. and only. The one and only. Really? And can I just I've say, been... I've... Oh, go ahead. I just want a time machine now. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I've awesome, gotten to awesome. meet her at a couple other conventions, and she is absolutely fantastic. She is yes. just so charming in person, and just but she's so busy. really, really great. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll meet her for five minutes at Everfree Northwest, so I'll get ten minutes of her time. I can see it now. She's a very busy lady. Yes, very busy lady. But she's gonna be there, signing autographs and having you all sing Twilight Licious. Yep, I'm sure she will. So bone up on that song. Bone up on that song, and bone up on Discord Licious too. Yes, if you're going to BronyCon, because. He's going to be over there. I don't know. Are you guys actually working? No, I shouldn't talk about it. Shouldn't. Nope. Zip. <laughs> nope. Not gonna. Not gonna. Not gonna. Nope. Good, because I don't think I could answer anyway. So. <laughs> nope. I'm not. I'm not gonna press you for that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love you. Tara. My heart skipped the beat. <laughs> yes. So that's the big announcement, people. Tara Strong is going to be at Everfree Northwest. Yay. Hooray. Yay. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so, the, yeah, uh, so what are we going to do now? We're going to take some more questions? Take some more, we have any more questions? Oh, jeez, the list goes on and the on The list goes and on and on. Well, pick, pick out the good ones. This is probably the biggest, this is probably the biggest list I've ever seen for questions. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that, now that we know that the big announcement, who the big announcement is. Yes. There's probably some questions about the big announcement. Yes. So. Um, uh, not yet. <laughs> That's that. What, what is this? Come on, guys. <laughs> I'll just ask one while they warm up and think. Um, uh, this one's from Pokelink. Uh, the, you know, they're they're just kind of wrapping around it, so they're you know they're like, oh my god, oh my god. what do I say? <laughs> uh, this one's from Pokelink. Uh, Cat, what are your expectations for season three? Um, awesomeness. Uh, is really what I'm expecting. Yeah. Um, you know, I really, I try not to set expectations for this sort of thing. Um, not because I'm worried that they'll get shot down, but just because they usually blow my expectations out of the water. Um, this finale for season two, I, there's no way I could have forecast something that amazing. Um, what things I would like to see, I, once again, as I mentioned, I'd love to see Scootaloo get her own episode. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely love that. Um, yeah. Kind of vague. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want things to be awesome, and I expect there to be ponies. So. Well, there better be. <laughs> there better be ponies. I, I, you know what? I'm sure. I'm sure Sibsy in the chat can actually verify that there will be ponies in season three. <laughs> Check with her final draft. Check. I want. I want. A, I want confirmation from Sibsy that there will be ponies. ponies. Yeah. Slipsy, say it's not that. I'm still, I'm just, I'm just, my eyes are glued to the RC. I'm like, oh, oh, say something. <laughs> but, uh, um, uh, while that goes on, uh, this one's from Harmonic Chaos. Question 
What was the best con you've been to so far? Ooh. Mm. That's that's really a, a, a loaded question for that's me. I've been to so many. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's... my. Uh, I think I've been going to conventions. Let's see, I'm 44 now. I think I started when I was 22. So I've been going to conventions off, you know, for 20 years. It's kind of hard to pick one, you know. And I've been to all kinds of. I've been to sci-fi conventions. I've been to furry conventions. I've been to, you know, uh, conventions for my work, you know. Um, so it's kind of hard to pick, you know, one great big huge convention. Um, but I have to say, uh, when I was working for a company named Paco uh, a year ago, and I helped build three or four show bikes for a convention in Cincinnati in February, which is the big trade show mm -hmm. um, that goes on for, you know, aftermarket motorcycle stuff. And we showed up, and the bikes that we built uh, were just a hit of the show. Um, so it was, it was like one of those things where you just, all that work, all the things you've done all your life, the going to MMI in, in 95, 96 and working in two different Harley Davidson dealerships, working for custom Chrome, working for all these people. And then it all just gels to that point where people love what you do, you know, and, and, and getting the, the, the accolades of your peers within the community of the professional motorcycle builders, um, that really love what you do. And, and I have to say that that was probably, I know it doesn't have anything to do with ponies. doesn't have anything to do with, con, con, you know, comic books, but you know, it's just that having, you know, somebody like Arlen Ness, who's, uh, you know, the godfather of, you know, aftermarket Harley Davidson parts come up and say that he really likes what you did with that bike. It's, it's, it's a feeling that I, I don't think I'll ever have again. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Hmm. I've I've only been to one convention. It was a furry convention. <laughs> um, I yeah, I go to about three or four on. a year. Um, most of the the local Seattle ones, um, Emerald City Comic Con, Sakura Con, PAX, and then sometimes I make it down to Stumptown down in Portland. Um, you know, as cliche as this sounds, and I'm not doing this because she's in chat and listening, but um, this last Emerald City Comic Con, you know, I got to uh, I got to meet Simsy in person and gave her cupcakes and uh, cupcakes. no, no, thick reference inten intended, just nice cupcakes. Um, and I met <laughs> a lot of really great bronies and had just a really incredible time. It was it was really awesome this year. Um, so if you're ever around the Northwest and you can make it to Emerald City, it's it's a great convention. It is. Yeah. Cool. And I love comic book conventions. Yeah. I I went to San Diego in ninety four. San Diego oh, I'm jealous. in ninety four. And it was so awesome to sit down with some of my favorite artists and talk shop with them. It was really, really cool. Thanks. Hmm. Uh, this one's from Pony Seven Five Six Seven. Question for both. Are either of you single? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> she is not. She's getting married. I am. Yeah. She's getting I married actually, to a lucky uh, guy. We had to uh, bump our honeymoon for Everfree. So, uh, there you go. See that? Yeah. That's, how, that's how committed she is to you and it's true. your ponies. She's going yes. to move back her honeymoon just for you. So it's true. You better come because you know not everybody would move their honeymoon just to make sure that you have a good time. And you better stop by and say hi, too. Yes. I'm going to have a booth, but I'm also going to be wandering around. Yes. Um, you can't miss her. She's got blue hair. It's true, with rainbows in it. With rainbows so, in it. I'm easy to find. Come say hi. Yes. Stands out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's my rainbow. Uh, um, this one's from... Uh, <laughs> I freaking love rainbow hash. <laughs> Um, this one's from uh, Gavin Gap. Question for all: Will you be attend? Will you, will you be attending any European Brony conventions? No. No, sadly. As much as, much as I'd love to, I don't make enough money Hello? to go oh, okay. fifteen hundred dollars a plane ticket. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. Yeah. Not happening. So it's it it's, it's all I can do to go go to BronyCon this year. I mean, I'm 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 selling pints of blood to be able to to be able to get the BronyCon, uh, not <laughs> not literally but figuratively, um, <laughs> so I can put enough money away to go and be there and, and just you know have a good time. But no, Europe Europe is is out of the question. I really wish I could, but I I I'd love to see England. I want to see Scotland. I'd love to go to Norway, um, but nope, not happening this year. Yeah, I want to go. I need to go to England and uh, hang out with Acoustic. This needs to happen at some point. 
<laughs> if anybody wants to send me to London, let's let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Give her plane tickets. <laughs> yeah, if any European yeah. brony convention wants to bring me out as a guest, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But that's not gonna happen either. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this one's from Beat Seeker for Cat. How many people are involved in the process of setting up the place for a con? Well, we're really lucky with our convention. Um, we're doing it at the the absolutely lovely um, the SeaTac uh, Airport Holiday Inn, um, and they're taking care of a lot of our setup actually, uh, which is one of the the advantages of doing it there. Um, in term so in terms of the actual setting up tables and chairs and all of that goodness, they're they're really helping out with that, and they're they're an absolutely fantastic uh, organization to be working with. Um, in terms of the actual uh, like organizational staff, um, there's seven main board members. Um, and then lots of volunteers. Um, we're so lucky we have so many people who want to get involved with this, uh, with this organization. So, And we still need more, as I mentioned. So if you're interested, please, yes. please yes. send us a line. There's always um, a need for more hooves. Yes. When putting it's, on uh, always. Staff at everfreenw.com. Um, the wonderful Galileo is our, uh, is our head of staff. And, yeah, we're definitely looking for people. Join us. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> Those whispers in your brain right now. <laughs> Join us. Oh, oh man. Um, Dusty, yes. uh, Tech Rat just likes to thank you for contributing to EQI last week. Oh, I'm, uh, uh, so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> did, did anybody figure out where I, where I was? Anybody in the chat figure out my um, little part in EQI last week? Oh, he says... I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he actually messaged something else right here. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, here we go. Also, he could cackle evilly more. He's really good at it. Finally, he has now earned a certificate for one EQI favor, this can be cashed in for any of the following a custom silly image for use on his show creating by Tech Rack, a guest appearance by Joe Stevens, oh, brief, in a, humili in a humiliating costume, a higher Ooh. hit thanks again, and we continue to lurk during his show and confuse him by asking silly questions. Ooh. <laughs> I get to put so Joe in a silly a costume? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, the wheels of my mind are going, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm keeping that one in the back pocket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna come up on we're gonna come up on episode ten real soon. I might have to do something special for episode ten. So, yes. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you on that tech. Uh, I'll put that coupon <laughs> right here in the back pocket. <sighs> Next. <laughs> No, this is from Chaotic Harmony. Question for both. If you could convert any person in the world to bronyism, who would you convert? Mm. So this is kind of a, a low blow, and he's sitting right next to me, but my fiancé <gasps> would definitely have to be him. I Your fiancé is not a brony? No, he. <gasps> but I will I will give him the... the so essentially, I when I started to get really into it, he sat down with me. He watched a couple episodes. He said, "I can definitely see why you like this. I totally don't mind you having ponies around the house. It's just not my thing." So he's good about it. Oh, there you go. So there you go. Yeah. As long as he's good about it. It's true, definitely. Um, for me, hmm, who would I turn into a brony? Hmm. Alive or dead? Could I change Ooh. history? <laughs> can I change history? <laughs> Yours is so much more interesting than mine already. Oh. <laughs> I want to know. Can I change his? Can I change history with the, with this I, answer? I say yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone's saying yes. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Do it. Change history. I, I would turn Adolf Hitler into a <laughs> because then he would love and tolerate instead of being a stupid idiot. So, yes, I would. I would change yeah. Adolf Hitler into a brony. I would, I would go back in time. I, I would take. Twilight's time uh, spell, I... go to one moment in time, tie up Adolf Hitler, and make him watch all, both seasons. And by then, it would be all gone. It would be over. There you go. Well, now we need a time machine. Now we need a time machine. <laughs> yep. 
We could Let's get we Dr. could fix Goofs all we that. could fix all of we could fix all the Holocaust in the world if we just at a time machine went back, tied up all these idiots, and made them watch My Little Pony. Yep, done. It would... Next, uh, the things ponies can do. Um, <laughs> uh, this one's from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. Here we go. This one's from. I'm just reading through. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't hurt me. Uh, this one's from Beat Seeker for Catch. Will there be some kind of official footage from the con or just the fan made? Ooh. Official. I'm sorry. I, I missed part of that. Official footage at the con. Yeah. Will there be yeah, official or is footage it, from the just... con? Which I oh, think, I see. Yeah. Um, that is something we're definitely looking into. Um, we are interested in uh, in having a convention video. Um, I'm not sure, unfortunately, how far along that is, but it is definitely is something we are interested in. Um, so yeah, keep keep your eyes peeled. Once again, I'm sorry to keep saying this. Keep your eyes peeled on the forums. Yes. We will we will let you know. But yes, it, it is definitely something we have looked into in the past. We talked about it a couple of meetings ago. It is possibly in the works. So. Yes, and we know that Everfree Radio is going to be there. Yes. Yes, we're Absolutely. gonna be there. So there's probably gonna be some footage from us at some point going up. So uh, I'll have to get with Final Draft and eight pumped. Just pumped, pumped, pumped to be there. So yes. And uh, we'll see if we can. I might actually tape Arr. delay. I might actually tape my show with somebody there and then play it on Monday. And then you know I haven't figured that one out yet, but um, we'll figure out how to do that and see if we can get it done. Uh, I'll talk to eight track about that <laughs> that would be awesome really. that would be awesome i could sit there and have a lot have, have you know interview all these people at at, at uh, everfree northwest and then just put it up on, on, a, on a show special that would be awesome oh my i keep playing with rainbow dash <laughs> groomer hair main sorry <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was zoned. Um, uh, this, was, <laughs> uh, this one's from Sunshine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is from Sunshine. Screwball. Uh, oh wait. Uh, sorry for catch. Is there going to be a cosplay contest? Ooh, is there? You know, I believe we are going to. Um, we are definitely encouraging cosplay. Um, but we do want to remind every pony that this is a family-friendly convention. Yes. Um, so there are going to be uh, there are going to be some regulations in place. But yes, uh, we 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 will likely be doing one of those, and I will probably be involved because yes. all the cosplays. All the cosplays all the time. Yes. Yes. And if, if there's okay. gonna be if there's gonna be like a a thing about weapons, that you should probably yes. have that out soon because people are probably already working on their cosplay costumes. So, if, you know, if you're not going to have, you know, fake weapons or anything like that, there should be some sort of rule set out within the end of the month. Right. We'll get Roy right on that. Yeah. We'll bug him right now. Let's do I, that. Roy, I just gave you something else to do. I know you love me. There you go. Do it. Do it, pony. <laughs> Dude, Philly. Next. <laughs> this one's from uh, Chaotic Harmony. Um, what is your favorite fan fiction? Mm. How about you, Cat? Well, that's really tough because I've actually only ever read two. Um, as I mentioned, I'm really, really busy, so I don't really read a lot. Um, so, pass. Yeah. Pass, she says. Yes. Everybody knows that I'm reading Memoirs of Reality pass. Jumper. So, whenever that one whenever that one updates, I just stop, drop everything and I read it. So, Memoirs of a Reality Jumper is what I'm reading right now. That's that's the one I'm, I'm always looking forward to. Um and normally it updates on Mondays, Mondays or Tuesdays. So there should be a new one in there soon. Maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe I'll get that author for an interview. I have to work on that. See if we can bring him in. This one's from uh, Royal Coat. Question for Cat: Which of the guests announced are you most excited to meet? Oh, that that's tough. Um, if we're going. <laughs> So far from the uh, the VAs, I'm really excited to meet Michelle. I'm excited to meet all of them, um, definitely. But uh, Michelle has just been so active in the fandom lately, and she's just, I mean, she's so incredibly talented. Um, I'm very, very excited to meet her. Yeah. That's going to be my answer. And really excited to see her show once again. I think that was just kind of the icing on the on the cake 
she's coming, she's going to be signing, she's going to be doing all sorts of wonderful things, and she's going to be singing and performing live. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, uh, we, we just got a request from Tech Rat that Cat, myself, and Screwy all cackle evilly at the same time. <laughs> oh no! Yes. I don't think I have any evil in me. <laughs> that's that's true, you draw cutely. In, you draw cute, so... <laughs> so... You know, maybe you can do the, maybe you can do a, a cute little evil laugh. Sort of, it would be Fluttershy's evil laugh. It'd be so cute. <laughs> so, everybody, get ready. Oh no! Are you ready? Are you ready, Shirley? Uh, I'm, I'm pumping myself up. I'm pump yourself up. Pump yourself up. Here we go. Second most evil thing in my mind. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna count okay. down from three. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> My chest that hurt. <laughs> they hurt. Oh, that was good. You get oh. that tech? Is that good enough? Because that we ain't doing it again. I hope you got that. Please no, I think my heart stopped. <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, where are we at? We got about eight minutes left in the show. Make them good. <laughs> okay. Oof. It's gathering my thoughts. Um, uh, this one's from Wild Wind. Uh, Tuesday is my B-Day. Can I get a happy B-Day, please? <laughs> oh, of course. Happy birthday. Happy everybody, birthday. Happy birthday. birthday to you. Yes. Everybody, yes, everybody needs birthday. cake and ice cream on their birthday. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> The cake is not a lie. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> oh, this one's from Chaotic Harmony. Question for both. Do you ever look back on your brony life and ask yourself, how the hey did I start liking this? <laughs> not really. No. Yeah. No. It was a really easy transition easy. for me. So. Yep. If, if, if you're an animation or a cartoon fan, comic mm -hmm. book fan, it was easy. Yeah. It was quite easy. There was there was too much in it not to not like. I mean, it... it it's it's you, you watch an episode and go wait a minute what what what, what it, it, uh, yeah I'm stuck yeah <laughs> yeah I'm gonna watch this yep just to see what they're gonna do next so yeah. um this one's from Lehim Hamel uh pardon if I said that wrong question for all of you three will you ever will you, will you ever recognize any any uh faction other than Solar Empire versus Lunar Republic, the Changeling Hive, Dragons, Discord, Trixie, Flim Flam. Hell no. I'm guessing... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Luna is my princess. Celestia is a close second, yes. but Luna... I, 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 okay. I'd go for Changelings. Guys, <gasps> I, guys, I know. I don't know you for, anymore. They're... I just like the design <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> All the holes. <laughs> yeah. You just like the Swiss cheese. I do. Uh, yes. <laughs> so someone put uh, up this really great. Someone put up this really great cartoon or comic this morning. And it's basically Chrysalis leaning over a couple of royal guards, and one has like a laser cannon, a laser shotgun, right? And and she goes, they go. Oh, you're here to kill us, she says. Well, I was just here to steal your wallets, but I guess I'll take your love, too. And the guy goes, shoot! Shoot her now! And you see this... this, this ep and then the next screen is just her holes. She's got her feet shot full of holes. <laughs> you couldn't hit the broad side of a bar. that's where came from. Oh, it was funny. My favorite was a banner on, uh, on EQD a while back with somebody blowing bubbles through, yes, that was through the holes in our legs. Yes. That was hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely. So my. Oh. Okay. Nice. This one's from MLP Problems. Question. Uh, who is the one person in your fandom that you want to work with the most? Oh. Well, I'm already working with them, so. Um, within the fandom, I always wanted to work with Bronified, and I'm working with him right now. So I'm, I'm really happy to be working with him. Um, I'd love to work with Mando Pony at some point, but he's really busy doing professional work. And he's a busy he, fellow. He needs to be. 
I mean, he, yeah. needs, he needs a bigger, wider audience than to be stuck yes. with a, a hack like me. So, um, so I, uh, I'm more power to him. Love him. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at and who I'm working with um, at the moment. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the same boat right now. Um, I just got uh, offered to work on a project with uh, Acoustic Brony, who I absolutely love and adore forever, those guys. Um, so that's kind of a, a dream come true for me. So very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd love to do a song with them, too. Um, oh, I well, think my me voice, and music. My, no. voice is way, <laughs> my voice is way too rough and gruff for Acoustic Brony music. That's for sure. So I think we're going to go with one more question, people. One more question. Screwy, pick one out. Sure thing. This one's from. I will. <laughs> oh wait, there's three right here. Let's see which one. I'm just gonna go for the ones next. Uh, this one's from Saber Spark. Question, Dusty. Uh, what monument do you want to see the most while visiting New York City? Hmm. Um. Probably a toss-up between the Apollo Theater and uh, David Letterman's Theater. I know, I know those aren't quote-unquote monuments, but to me they are. Um, the Apollo Theater being, you know, the Apollo Theater. And I've always been a David Letterman fan, so I'd like to at least walk by the place. But if you're talking about actual monuments, um, I probably would go to the shore and actually look at the Statue of Liberty from the shore and maybe walk past, uh, walk past um, Ground Zero and then go back to the con. Um, but other than, I have a friend of mine, Mick Collins, who's a... a very great music guy um, who's actually a, a real life music guy who's going to pick me up on Thursday when I get there and is going to take me all over New York to some really CD dive bars and, and really great places so it's going to be awesome um, so I'm really looking forward to it <laughs> can I ask one more question oh, yeah go ahead <laughs> Chaotic Harmony asks do you like bananas <laughs> oh dear there's no good way to answer that um <laughs> yes I there like you go bananas. yes i like bananas <laughs> you know what you know what you gotta have bananas on your peanut butter toast if, it, if you've ever tried that that's good oh, okay elvis. yummy <laughs> i'm gonna call you elvis from now on Oh, this is <laughs> no, you know what? Fine, I'll go with it. <laughs> oh yes. So that is the show. I want to thank you all for coming. I want to thank Cat for coming, and we're gonna run down our list of things that you can expect the rest of this week here on Everfree Radio. You're going to have the Equestria Inquirer, comedy and news straight from China this week. And that's going to be Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And from what I'm told, there's something really cool going on over there. You know, I got this little bird on my shoulder. You need to check that one out. Sketchy Sounds Live Songcast is a two-hour live set of acoustic music performed by Sketchy Sounds himself Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Then, the Lunar Republic Takeover, Nightmare Moon, takes over this entire station for your all request show and that is friday 7 p.m eastern 4 p.m pacific and then and then michelle kreber herself saturday night songs with michelle kreber every saturday night will be a premiere of a brand new song for michelle and that's saturdays 4 p.m eastern 7 p.m pacific and she will be in the chat with you to get your feedback on her songs state of brony which is the trance electro and house music show will be Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And then Radiant Eclipse podcast is Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And a little bird also told me that we got more in store for you soon. I can't tell you anything about it. I can't. Mm -mm. I know all about it, but I can't say a word. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're just going to have to come back week after week, day after day. Because we're going to have more awesome, awesome content for you live or recorded but you know what this is going to be the place to be the place to be when you need your pony so for final draft for eight track for cat cat say good night good night every pony thanks for stopping by
Absolutely. Thank you for coming. And mm -hmm. also, my sidekick of the of the moment of the evening of the forever. Screwy. Screwy. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Say good night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Flies over my head. What the hell? Oh, come on. <laughs> I give you your moment in the spotlight and you blew it. <laughs> Why me? Oh, Why you? Uh, we'll try again. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming this week and we'll see you next week. Remember, stay cool. Do, 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 do. Good, Good night, night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. We hate to leave you, but we'll be back soon. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night.